the U.S. men's ski team on home snow advantage before opening day at Birds of Prey. Phil Lindemann, Crystal. 93 News. First, Blue Sky Basin at Vail opened this morning, bringing the resort's total terrain to 4,400 acres. It's the earliest opening there since 2002 and the second earliest in Blue Sky's 18-year history. Tomorrow, Independence Chair on Peak 7 at Breckenridge opens, and Montezuma Bowl at A Basin could open tomorrow or Saturday. Copper's new combination chairlift gondola at Center Village starts spinning Saturday. Forecast call for up to 14 inches before Sunday morning. Local snowpack is 133% of average, with a high of 184% at Grizzly Peak, east of A Basin. Today in the Price of Fun. Starting wage for Ski Patrol at Copper Mountain this year is $13.25 per hour. That's $1 more than Copper's minimum wage. First-year patrollers at all resorts make more than other starting employees, but not much, and none earn more than $16 per hour. A Basin hired several new patrollers to maintain the long-awaited Beavers and Steep Goalies expansion. Director Tony Camerata. We've increased our staff quite a bit to make sure that we're now working on all aspects. Tune in again next Thursday for our latest report on what it cost to have a good time in Summit on The Price of Fun on Crystal 93. Summit County is reassessing local property values, and areas like Dillon Valley have jumped by up to 50% since last year. Summit Assessor Beverly Breakstone. What they're going to see is some pretty respectable increases in their property value. Real estate is reassessed every two years. The latest rates determine the taxes you'll pay in 2019, but Breakstone assures homeowners that a soaring market does not mean soaring taxes. If someone's value goes up 44 percent, their taxes don't go up 44 percent. Here is why. The taxing entities, the school, the county, the fire department, all these people are very restricted on how much they can collect. At the midterm election, locals voted to maintain rates for Colorado Mountain College and fire districts. New values are mailed to taxpayers next May. The one and only American World Cup ski race is in Beaver Creek this weekend at the Birds of Prey, and snow arrived just in time to cancel today's downhill training. The U.S. men's team patiently waits for downhill racing tomorrow. Steven Nyman took third there in 2015 and loves the home snow advantage. Really steep, really flat. It has all these undulations, but it's also the hometown crowd and it's extremely motivating. Super G is Saturday and Giant Slalom is Sunday. U.S. veteran Ted Ligety won five straight GS titles at Beaver Creek between 2010 and 2015 and hopes to find his footing again after a disappointing Olympics. We're so used to being in Europe for five months and being everybody's second favorite, but uh, actually being the, the, the home favorite's nice. In sports, all Colorado teams have the night off. The Cowboys play the 10-1 Saints on Thursday night football. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Boys and Girls Basketball were in Middle Park yesterday, where boys won 61-55 and girls lost 39-30. All Tigers teams take the night off. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.